Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Mark Lottring hails all the way from Cape Town and he's one of South Africa's top comedians. He's been in the funny business for 22 years and continues to keep audiences in stitches across the country, even during a global pandemic. Imagine you wake up tomorrow morning and this whole corona lockdown thing was just a dream. Yo, I'll be tired. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Auntie Mel Abrams from the Gravia Road in Athlone. I'm fine, God is good, God is good. But listen, man, Dennis gave me such a lovely surprise the other day. He told me he bought me a ticket to this Mark Lottering show. Mark Lottering is doing a show on the computer on Saturday the 13th of June at half past seven. I was so excited. I saw immediately posted it in our church group, you know, the ladies group. Immediately there was a response going, but Mo, we not don't know how we must not get on to watch the show on the computer. I said, you must stop just reading the Bible. I'm a good please, you know, then you can catch up with technology, catch up with technology. Catch up with technology. Hello, Mark, how are you? Lady Vanessa, I'm good, baby. How are you doing? I am fantastic. You definitely put a smile on this frown. Uh, you know, it's a little cold in Cape Town. But you're heating us up here in stitches. Now, we just saw Auntie Merle talking about you. How have you been keeping during the lockdown and how has it treated you? I've been, I've been keeping well during the lockdown. You know, I've been um, going a little, bit, a little bit crazy here and there thinking, oh my word, this is our reality. But you'll be happy to know mostly I've been sticking to the rules. I've been staying home as much as I can. Mm. And I've been, um, the one thing I'm most proud about, which I told somebody this morning, is that I'm actually managing to stay fit. That's the one thing I've been very disciplined <laughs> about because I believe that a lot of people are forgetting that lockdown will end. And you still have to come out of your house looking fabulous. Mm -hmm. So you still want to be recognizable. Um, and you don't want people to unfollow you after they see you. So, um, so I have been taking care of myself. I've been eating right, exercising, and trying to keep a level head. Yeah, I think a lot of people on social media, especially here on Afternoon Express, has been letting us know how they're keeping active and how they're exercising. So it's so good to see that you're also keeping fit, making sure that when you step out of that door, you slay all day. So clearly then, Auntie Myrtle is also getting a bit of a body makeover, surely. Um, no, well, you know, she doesn't need that much of a body makeover because you will find out, Melissa, when you eventually get to that age where you start wearing floral, the floral takes over. Um, it's the first thing that people see before any kind of muscle. So I think she is saved by the floral bell. So Amen. she's doing okay. She's hallelujah doing okay. to floral, hallelujah. Now, Auntie Merle also mentioned that you're still doing your stand-up comedy, but from home online. So please may you talk about your online show, My Fellow South Africans. I have to be totally honest with you um, because I'm freaking out a little bit. Um, I'm used to a live audience. You know, I'm an old school boy mm. um, and I've been doing this for a while, as you mentioned earlier. So the online thing is just me and the camera and I was when, when my producer finally said, this is what we are doing, you're doing live streaming. I said, I cannot because I need the people, but now... I've thought about it and I thought it can work for me because when I'm doing a live show, if people are sitting in the audience and anyone gets up to go to the toilet or anyone is chatting to their friend or scrolling through their phone, I'm having a nightmare going, oh my word, they're not enjoying the comedy. Why must this person pee before mm. the punchline? And it's hard for me to focus. So now I can just be with that camera. I can pretend that you, Palesa, are sitting at home laughing your head off, having a fabulous time. I'm just going to pretend that I'm fabulous and that I'm funny. And I will pray that I, I really am. Uh, but it's a whole new frontier. And it's so interesting because I think South Africans are taking to the live streaming. You know, we've sold so many tickets. And it's, it's a whole new reality. You can sit at home for 70 Rand and watch with your whole family. Mm, that sounds incredible, Mark, and what a great idea. You know how they say sometimes back in the old days when you have to perform in front of a live crowd, they say, imagine everyone naked. With a cell phone, you ain't even got to do that. So you're thinking 10 steps ahead. 
Beautiful, brilliant thinking. Now, during the lockdown, you've also mentioned that, you know, people are have up to some funny, crazy things, weird things included, and you are not excluded from this list. Now, that being said, we need to go through your Instagram and find out face to face oh, no. what's been happening in these posts. No, Mark, oh, no. let's go find out. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on there, Mark? What did we just witness? What did you watch? I, I can't see what you saw. Oh, sweetheart, what your generation has been doing. Oh, by the way, you do that really well. You look amazing <laughs> during COVID, you are. I must say. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> God is good. God is very good. You're All God's favorite. Um, the, the, everybody was getting on to, to TikTok, your generation. Yeah. And, um, and, and, I, I, and then other people were saying to me, because a lot of comedians were saying, cool people, like real comedians, don't go to TikTok. So I was trying to be cool and not go there, but I was still missing out. So I tried to kind of do my own um, version of it, which a lot of people kind of loved. So I was just trying to find out what, what, what's happening out there in the contemporary world. But I'm not on TikTok yet, are you? I'm definitely on TikTok and you know, TikTok is one of those apps where you're not even wanting that much of a big following. It's just there for pure fun, pure enjoyment, pure sharing pleasure. I mean, Afternoon Express has a TikTok. So Mark, as soon as you get on TikTok, please follow our account. Things to do list, I will do so. I will do Perfect. So. But you know, Mark, this is what happens when you get FOMO. You know, fear of missing out. This is yes, what happens. <laughs> Now, you also, um, from your post, we see that you miss your family and more especially your niece's daughter, Ava Rose. Now, using oh, yes. your comedic skills, I'm about to put you to the test. How would you explain the seriousness of COVID-19 to other kids like Ava Rose that perhaps parents can use? Oh, wow. Um, I would say, um, Ava, um, Uncle Mark loves you and... Um, a lot of people in the world are sick right now and for them to get better, you have to stay home and I have to stay home. So Uncle Mark, if you want an expensive present from <laughs> Uncle Mark again, um, then Uncle Mark is going to ask you, please stay home until the whole world is better and then you can see me again. Mm. What a beautiful way to break it down quite gently and uh, sensitively. Yeah, I, even I felt it there. I was like, wow, wow. Okay. I was like, I have to stay at home, stay home. Definitely, I'm doing it. I'm doing it immediately. Now, look. Yeah, this... we, wait for the, we wait for the world to get better. Yeah, we are waiting for the world to get better, especially this week. I think we thank people like you, Mark, and the incredible work that you do. Even though you are working from home online, you're keeping us laughing. You know, right now, there's a lot of seriousness going around in the world, a lot of pain and chaos yeah. going around in yeah. the world. So I think, you know, as South Africans, we love to laugh. And, and that's how we heal on an everyday basis. So how do you recommend people find the funny in everyday situations to keep their spirits up and keep them pushing through? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's such a difficult time. And, but the interesting thing about South Africans, and, and you are spot on when you say that, we've seen it in other situations, you know, when we're going through load shedding, when there's no water. Um, you know, we've been through really hectic times, but we don't realize how hectic these times are because we almost, um, bizarrely, we are so accustomed to it and we find our ways of dealing with these situations. Mm. So I've seen the funniest things online, are things that I haven't seen in such a long time. Mm. So I think my advice to everybody is basically what, you know, this is how I travel through life. Mm. You have to take the time out and make a conscious effort to let your hair down. If it's even just for a few moments in the day, mm. let your hair down and smile, let your head down and laugh. And it's not something that we have to beg South Africans to do because I, I, I see people do it nationally and people, we will bride together again, as I said earlier, we will all be around a fire, you know, going, when people zoom, you know, it's gonna be a bit. I'm, uh, that's so, my song. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit like that. Focus 
from that. Mark, I can't believe you brought up that song. As much as I can't sing it, I'll still keep dancing through it. But talking about dancing, you know, dancing and the radio and music go hand in hand. And earlier on in the show, we were speaking to Fahim from Baxter Theatre and the incredible initiative that that's happened through Baxter Radio. You are one of the incredibly talented artists that's involved in the initiative. So what was it like working on this and what does it mean to you? It's so special because, um, you know, Felisa, I've never done anything like that before, mm -hmm. whereby uh, we, were, we were asked to take our favourite book or favourite poetry or favourite short story um, or, you know, a, a, a set work book from, from any high school and read it. So this was mm -hmm. recorded and this is going out to community radio stations. So people are able to stay home and listen to these wonderful stories or wonderful poetry being read. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is such an, like, you know, if I can even say an old fashioned thing to do. I say old fashioned because when I grew up, we were listening to stories on the radio. Yeah. And your imagination, yeah. because there's no TV screen, you imagined mm -hmm. what the house looked like. You imagined what that couple looked like. Mm -hmm. You know, you imagined what the car looked like. And that's so great for your brain. So this is what was so exciting for me to sit down and I read um, Yusuf Daniels' book, Living Colored, and his book is full of funny, wonderful um, little stories. And, and just reading that and being able to enjoy words again and, and just know, knowing that there's a medium where people will listen to something. Yeah. It's so different to what I usually do. So I love being part of the campaign. And when people go and find it on the Baxter website, how to do it, don't forget the Baxter Theatre needs your 30 rand a month to keep their doors open. We love theatre. Yeah. We love theatre. We want it to be alive forever. Go out there and make that coffee donation, you know, 30 rand a month if you can afford it. Shouldn't be much. Just close your eyes and put it in there. It's going to a worthy cause and the kids are getting educated through it. Thank you so much, Mark, for lending your voice to such an incredible initiative with Baxter Radio. And all the work that you're doing, keeping South Africans laughing and in stitches, we're going to be tuned in throughout the month of June to keep the spirits up. We appreciate it. Uh, I can't wait to see you after all of this. I can give you a proper elbows <laughs> and love and all sorts of things. It's great chatting to you. Absolutely love you. You're amazing. Oh, Thanks. I love you too. Thank you so much. And also, I love the book that you decided to narrate. Funny enough, we also had the author of that book, Living Khaled, in After oh, wow. Express's Loft. Oh, yes, wow. and we broke great down enough. the book from head to toe. Sonja, we know all about it here. We appreciate you, South okay. Africa. That was Mark Lottering, bringing us all the comedy and all the beauty that we so desperately need this week. Now, coming up, we're going to show you our spin on a classic. South African male, Ikota.